Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show parents and students how to do assignments on education.com. So always start on Schoology. Our last uh, video showed you how to log on through Clever. Through Clever is where you can get to everything. All right, so you're going to start with whatever day of the week it is, or you can also click on websites. But I'm going to go to Monday and education.com. And then you're just clicking on it. And everybody will pop up. Let's choose, here's a student that's actually not in our class. All right, so now if you go in through education.com, you should not have to sign in. However, technology, there are always times where it might, may ask you for a class code. I will make sure that the class code is always visible. And you know that you can text me anytime and I'll give it to you. So you're going to notice right now that on education.com, you see locks on the math, reading, writing, and typing islands. That's because there are two assignments. The student must do the two assignments first before they can explore. Now, so if I give an hour of independent time and you go into education.com, do the assignments first, okay? And then you can play around. So assignments. And it says, oh, I have to fix the reading practice because that will be required. And it tells you when it's due. So addition practice, you will play. And it, you'll have two chances to do the assignment. And then it will lock your grade in. See, it says two attempts allowed. It says, Hit play. It's breakfast time. Cuz Cuz is starving. Move 13 worms to his breakfast bowl. Hit the done button when you're finished. So kids and children will just do the assignment, okay? And then when it's finished, the assignment will go away. So I will be using those as grades. Um, this week, you know, students are just getting acquainted with it. All right, so if I'm done going on here, if you look at my top bar, Let's just say I finished the assignments. I wanna do something else. Just hit the X, okay? Now, let's say I want to go to Get Epic. One of our other websites is Get Epic, where students can explore books. Now for Get Epic, if you notice, I put the class code here in case it asks you. Now, it is after hours, it's nighttime, so I might not be able to get into it. We'll see. It's probably gonna say after hours. Okay, so when you come up, look, the class code is even there, see? And there's all our students. I'll go into the guest student account. All right, so it says it's after school hours. Let me just see if I'm, it says already have an account, log in. It's probably not gonna let me on, but I know some parents have had trouble with this before. Don't go in ever as parents. You're gonna have to go in as students. And look, right here, this top one. I kind of need to get rid of that other one. You just click on it, go. And uh, it's probably gonna say it's after hours. Because this website, I believe it's only available till like 4.30 or so. Let me just, so if I click on it, yeah, it's probably, yeah, can't get on it right now. But as you can see, it's very easy to navigate. I can also put assignments in here. So to do assignments, uh, it's not gonna let me even, though there's a mailbox. If you look over here, this mailbox says two. That means that this student has two books that they still need to read. And I'll use those as participation grades um, that they read the books, okay? So make sure first step is to always check that mailbox. All right, and if I wanna get out of Get Epic, I can just hit here. And I'm back on to 
Schoology, which is where we want to be. All right, I hope that video was helpful. I hope everyone has a blessed day, and please reach out to me if you need me at any time. All right, bye for now.